Hi everyone. Today I would like to discuss one more new concept that it is FET. What is that FET is nothing but field effect transistor. Yeah. FET is nothing but it's an voltage control device in which you are having some three terminals, source, gate, drain. And they can characterize the things into two more. That is one thing is JFET and the one is MOSFET. In that MOSFET, we are having some depletion MOSFET, another one enhancement MOSFET. Yeah. I'd like to explain with the help of some simple uh, water analogy here, this FET operation, that it is with the help of some water tap. We are having some water tap now. That water is uh, going from this particular uh, nozzle to the part of this particular drain. This one is nothing but source and this one is drain. And uh, the center notch will stop that water or it can erode that water. It's the crucial role, gate. Center water comes from source to drain. In between the things, one terminal is there, gate. This plays a crucial role. We'd like to explain this particular one with the help of operation there. Yeah. While going for the part of FET, it's a field effect transistor. It's a unipolar device. That means the entire operation can done either with the electrons or holes, not both. If it is both, that may be called it as bipolar junction transistor BJT. FET can use it as a part of amplifier. I know what is meant by amplifier is nothing but it's a device which strengthens the weak signal to strong signal. That may be called it as amplifier. In this particular one, this FET will have some high input impedance will be there. Why means we can uh, construct the center thing in terms of reverse bias only there. That's why we are having some high input impedance. Compared to BJT, it has some less noise. That's why they prefer FET here. These are the uh, some outlines of a uh, field effect transistor. We'd like to specifically go for the part of JFET. In that JFET also, I'd like to deal with the part of this particular diagram here as N channel. Yeah, what's the N channel here is? Just observe this diagram. I have chosen this uh, green colored line that it is. I have chosen one channel like this here. And the middle of this particular channel, I would like to dope with the part of opposite type semiconductor P, both ends. And these both ends are connected to one terminal. That terminal may be called it as gate. And the center channel will have some starting point and ending point like this. The starting may be source and ending may be gate. Observe this diagram. And this one may be called it as some ohmic contacts. This black colored one may be called it as some contacts here. Yeah. Our intention is, I would like to observe, in between the drain to the part of the source, source is grounded here. In between the drain to the source, the voltage may be called it as drain source voltage. Have to connect some post to tend to like this. It is post to terminal is connected to N, that it is in reverse bias. Whereas another voltage is also there in between the gate to the part of source, that voltage may be called it as gate source voltage. And this negative terminal is connected to which thing? Positive. And this one is connected to negative. This voltage may be called it as gate source voltage. Yeah. These are the things here you have to go for the construction wise. The N channel, middle of the part, dope with P material and connected to gate terminal. In between gate to source, one voltage drain to source another voltage. We have to follow some conditions here, two cases. One case here is don't apply any gate source voltage, zero. Another negative voltage you have to apply. Our intention is, I would like to travel electrons from source to drain. If electrons travel from source to drain, the conventional current direction travel from opposite direction like this, the current here is drain current. Uh, observe these things here. Initially, I don't want to apply any gate source voltage here, zero. And I can apply this voltage here, reverse bias voltage. We can form some depletion layer. We can so form some depletion layer like this. And again, again, I can increase the things. It can form some shape like this. The shape may be called it as wedge shape. Yeah. Why it can uh, make it some wedge shape here is it can act as, as a J FET, can act as a part of its uh, variable resistor type. Yeah. How it can uh, behave like this is, let it be there are four resistors like this. 
each resistor carries some uh, one kilo ohm. Same one kilo ohm, one kilo ohm like this. I'd like to apply some four volts like this. Across one, it can apply some four volts up to here. Next, there is some drop of one volt. This can carry some three volts. That it is the current carrying is one milliampere. There is again drop here two volts. Again drop here one volt. That it is highest amount of potential I apply here is first point. Then it reduces the part. All these resistors like this. That's why we can call it as variable resistor. With the help of high potential, we can have some depletion layer is almost narrow, uh, larger here and it is uh, thin like this. Why means there is some drop in the part of voltage level like this. That's why we can form some depletion layer in the form of wedge shape. This one is the first case. The second case here is I would like to apply extra reverse voltage right now with the help of gate source voltage, negative voltage. When I would like to apply some negative voltage here, we can form some depletion layer again and again. When the depletion layer enlarges like this, there is no chance to travel electrons from source to load. There is a drop in which current? Drain current. There is a channel can be created that with the help of depletion layer in order to don't travel these electrons from source, source to drain. That is, there is a drop in which current? Drain current. Drain current is controlled via the part of which voltage here? Gate source voltage. That's why it's an voltage controlled device. Voltage controlled device, and I can make it this drain current. Whether I can pass the drain current or it can uh, stop the drain current can happen with the help of these conditions here. All these are voltages. Yeah, this one is a JFET operation there. These are the characteristics. I'd like to apply some VGS equal to zero means the center current may be called as IDSS. IDSS stands for drain source. Saturation, yeah, drain source saturation current IDSS. At the time, VGS is equal to zero. When I'd like to apply some negative voltage, there is a drop in the current, drain current. Again, drop in the current like this. This there is a drop. The center yellow shape may be called it as ohmic region. The center region may be called it as saturation region. And the, this voltage may be called as pinch of voltage. If I'd like to plot one graph in between drain current to the part of drain source voltage, those characteristics are nothing but drain characteristics for JFET. Yeah, this is one of our FET, JFET. Next one, this one, the symbols only there. N channel, arrow mark is inside. Why means electrons travel from which point to which point? Source to drain. No? Current travels from this direction. That it is, arrow mark is inside like this. Whereas this one, P channel, na, holes na, same directions outside. Electrons tra holes travel from source to drain like this. Na. That's why I can make it this direction arrow mark like this. Yeah, symbols. These are the two symbols for shape. N channel and P channel. The next one here is, it's a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. In this, we are having some two more. One thing is nothing but depletion MOSFET. Another one is enhancement MOSFET. The construction I would like to go for the, yeah, this one is a construction for metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. That to depletion type. Observe the things. I have chosen one substrate or body structure, this red colored one. That it is, I have chosen some P type. Observe this one. I have chosen some P type substrate. And edge of these two things, I would like to carry with opposite uh, type semiconductor N and N. Doping like this. N type material, N type material. And middle of the thing, I can form one channel, channel region. Yeah. In the end of the majority charge carriers are electrons. Our intention is electrons travel from which point to which point? Source to drain. This point to this point. But the construction wise, I have to construct all these things now. This uh, shaded, shaded lines may be called it as some silicon dioxide. I have to cover some metal oxide. Semiconductor. I have covered only semiconductor, this red colored one, P type semiconductor. Oxide in the sense, this shaded part, oxide layer here, just construction. Next, metal contacts. This black colored one is nothing but metal contacts. I covered all this metal, oxide, semiconductor. Next thing, FET. No? FET in the sense, it had covered some three terminals. The lowermost part may be source, middle one may be called it as gate, 
and the upper one may be called as trip. I covered all this uh, title name here, justification. Then I can observe in between drain to the part of source on voltage, that VDS. In between gate to the part of source, one more voltage. Make sure that make it ground this source terminal for this implication. And I can observe this one may be called it as I create, I have done all the one channel here. That's why this name we call it as dictation MOSFET here. Construction channel already is there. And uh, one more thing here, when I'd like to apply some uh, drain source voltage, when there is no gate current, we can create some sort of depletion region there. That's why there is no electrons travel from source to drain. There is a drop in the part of which current there, drain current. Again, if there I'd like to apply some negative voltage, observe this, observe this one. When I'd like to apply some negative here, gate source voltage, all these holes will accumulate here. When holes are accumulated here, when there is negative means poles are accumulated here, these electrons will recombine here. There is a drop in the part of which thing? Drain current. Negative voltage is applied means there is drop in the part of drain current. Why means there is no scope to travel electrons from source to drain. That's why drop in the drain current. When I would like to apply some pause to here, all the electrons will accumulated here. Observe this one. Why means positive charge not negative, negative, negative like this. Yeah, all these electrons freely move from source to drain like this. There is increase in the part of which current? Drain current. When I would like to apply some gate source voltage positive, drain current increases. When I would like to apply some gate source voltage negative, drain current drop. When I would like to apply this one, we can have some maximum current IDS. These are the conditions here. Coming to the depletion MOSFET, it can accept all the gates, uh, gate source voltages there. Zero, less than zero, greater than zero. Then increase this drain source voltage. This body is also connected to this particular source step. Like this. This one is a construction and this one is the operation. Try to satisfy these conditions. In a similar fashion, what's the difference to the other part here as enhancement MOSFET? Only change here as this, there is no channel in this one. Initially, there is no channel. I have to create that particular channel by enhancing the things. That's why the name itself indicates enhancement MOSFET. Yeah. But you have to apply only positive gate source voltage. Why means when I would like to apply some positive voltage here, all the electrons in the P type body accumulated here. When electrons are accumulated here, there is some free movement of which thing electrons travel from which point to which point from source to the part of drain it can travel like this then there is a drain current will increase if and only if the condition in enhancement MOSFET you have to apply which type of voltage only positive voltage if you apply negative voltage it stops this one i have to create this channel that's why this name here is enhancement there is no channel initially but i'd like to apply some positive gate source voltage then it created some sort of channel there that's why we may call it as enhancement MOSFET. I'd like to observe these are the symbols here. Depletion MOSFET symbol, enhancement MOSFET symbol. Just observe all these are depletion MOSFET and enhancement MOSFET. In depletion MOSFET, these are the straight line you have to draw. The arrow mark is inside means N channel. The arrow mark is outside like this means P channel. Straight line is drawn for depletion. Why means I have already channel here. This one is a channel. Whereas in this one, there is no channel. Why means it's an enhancement. If the arrow mark is inside, which type of channel it is? N channel. If the arrow mark is outside, that channel is nothing but P channel. Symbols only there. Gate, source, trend, and the middle one is substrate or body. This substrate and body are uh, one source. These two are one point only there in some textbooks. These are the drain characteristics for both the uh, enhancement and thereafter depletion. Yeah, if I'd like to apply only positive voltage like this, that one is for the part of which thing enhancement. If I'd like to go through all the voltages here, positive, negative, and zero, this one may be for the part of which thing depletion MOSFET. What characteristic it is? Drain characteristics. Drain current to the part of which thing drain source voltage. This voltage may be called it as pinch-off voltage. 
this region may be called as omic region this region may be called as saturation region if only positive gate source voltage that may be called it as enhancement all the conditions is there that may be called it as depletion and observe the things the center drain source voltage yeah we can have some drain source here these are the characteristics here drain characteristics for both observe this graph finally i can observe one more thing here this one i repeated if the vgs is positive this one is enhancement if the all the conditions is there that may be called it as depletion if only zero and negative that may be called it as j fit only one graph but you have to verify with the different conditions yeah if i'd like to project same points to the left side like this projection like this left side projection and observe vgs to the part of id vgs to the part of id they may be characteristics may be called as transfer characteristics when there is some negative voltage when there is some negative voltage is increasing there is drop in the part of which current drain current those characteristics are nothing but transfer characteristics if you can project to the positive means it can comes into first quadrant like this yeah if time permits go through this uh, transfer characteristics also there it's not a top one if you can observe yeah observe these things here when i would like to project all these things to the left hand side part when we can plot one graph we can observe the graph here as there is uh, some negative voltage here means there is some drop in the part of drain current observe this right here this right right side part may be called it as drain characteristics left side part may be called it as transfer characteristics it's a simple one yeah these are the complete fet fet stands for field effect transistor okay yeah thank you thank you very much please do like share and subscribe to this channel if you found useful for you thank you, thank you very much